And welcome back to What's in Doc Stack for New Comic Book Day, August 14th, 2024. This is what we got. We're kicking things off with X-Men Issue 2, written by Jed McKay, uh, with art by Ryan Stegman. What we got here with the X-Men is we have new mutants being created all over the world, and the team does not know what to do. We see Cyclops taking charge, being a bit of a badass. But what I love more than anything is that Juggernaut has been turned into a human missile, and he wreaks awesome devastating destruction this is a hell of an issue loving the new x-men stuff that we're getting uh and i think you'll love it too so make sure you go check it out at your local comic book shop next up helverine issue four this is the end of this little run but at the end it does say helverine will return so this is of course written by benjamin percy who's been absolutely kicking ass uh what percy's done with uh with uh, ghost rider uh, over the past year plus has been some of the best uh, stuff Marvel has put out. It's been excellent. So make sure you pick this up. This is a hell of a hell of an issue. It really is. Um, next up, we have Batman and Robin, issue 12. This is written by Joshua Williamson. I love what Williamson's been doing uh, in DC, especially with Batman, the Bat family, but especially his stuff with Robin. And uh, we see young Damien uh, take on Bane. He wants revenge, but we see a side of Damien. We see two sides of Damien that we've never really seen before. So this is an action-packed issue. Make sure you pick it up, check it out. It's awesome stuff. Uh, next up is a book I've been talking about, we've been talking about on the show, raving about, and that's Kill All Immortals, issue two from Dark Horse Comics. This is written by Zach Kaplan with gorgeous, vicious, brutal art by Fico Asio. Uh, you know, Vikings and axes and guts Oh my, there's two things that Zach Kaplan did in this issue that were absolutely excellent. One, he gives you some more background story, some more lore um, into this Viking family uh, and their immortality, uh, which is a great, awesome aspect to the story. But the, the best thing, really, is his character Freya. And she is as badass as they come, second only, really, to Erica Slaughter. She is a character that you're going to love. Uh, this is a story you're going to love, so make sure you go out to your local comic book shop. And uh, if you haven't read the first issue, grab that. Grab this issue. What are you waiting for? This is book of the year stuff. Um, last up, again, from Dark Horse Comics, we have uh, Guilt Frame. This is uh, written by Matt Kent and his mom, I believe, Margie Kent, uh, with art by Matt Kent. This is a what at first... Uh, seems like a just a regular old sort of uh, detective mystery kind of story, but then turns into a bit of a murder mystery story. And you've got a uh, a grandmother and or a mother and her adoptive son uh, traveling to France to figure out the mystery of these beautiful ornate gold gilted chairs that they won in auction. But there's more to meet the eye there, and uh, they're on a mystery to figure out. Uh, what these chairs are all about, why someone is after them so much, uh, and then what transpires from there. It's been absolutely, it's an absolutely excellent first issue, and I can't wait to read the second one. So uh, with that said, make sure you follow TLDR wherever uh, you listen or watch your, po watch your podcasts. And uh, until next week, baby, keep reading. Woo!